Okay, here we are back with part two of our uh, video test here, trying to improve the reverb in a Vox AC15CH head. Um, what we've done in the last video is I was comparing multiple uh, reverb pans, and at least for my personal taste, I preferred this last one, which is a two-spring long pan with medium decay. Uh, then I thought, well, gee, you know, I wonder if there's a way to amplify the signal going into or coming out of the pan. Uh, I've got this little handy booster here. Oops. How cool is that? Got this booster pedal here. And uh, I tried it first on the input, and it didn't do anything. So now I've got it coming off the output of the pan to go into the, um, into the, the head. And so first let's hear what it sounds like just as is with no boost. Uh, let's see. All right, now let's add some boost. Pretty substantial difference. So there you have it. Um, it seems to be uh, pretty useful uh, in adding boost. Um, like I said, 10, 10 dB seems to be the max, after which it just it, it starts to feed back. But there's... So there's sprung to be had. Um, I guess we just have to know how to look for it. And then I guess the question will be, uh, I'm not certain um, if there's a way to actually get this kind of boost within the circuit as opposed to using just an outboard. But now at least we know this much is true. Okay, hope that was useful to somebody more than just me. I mean, I, I, I could just be talking to myself. I've been known before to just talk to myself. Hello, self. <laughs>